Okay, I got excited about this and decided that I would do an altered book that is just paper doll inspired. I'm using um, vintage sewing patterns, which uh, some of them I had. You can find them at your local thrift store, you know, for really inexpensive. And um, eBay, you can buy lots of them on eBay, you know, like big lots of them all at one time where you get a whole bunch at once. And I'm doing, this altar book is just strictly going to be paper dolls. And what I'm doing here, like for this page, I did a fold down and a fold up. I laced the side. I put one of the images from the front of a pattern on here and a poem from a, an old book on the back. And I put that in the pocket. On this next page here, I put a plastic. It's got like this really cool corrugated pattern in here. I just cut cir a circle out through my set of pages that I glued together. I had two frames the same, so I put one on the front and one on the back, and then it makes a window to see this image from a pattern. And then I'm putting the, the images along the edge of the book and trimming them out. I'm mod podging them down and then trimming them so you get a nice smooth image cut. And then on the next one, the next set of pages, I'm going in a ways and putting another one. So they overlap each other. This one's going to get glued down to this background to make that edge. I'm going to put some more collaging and things on here, but this is just my beginning of my idea. And then in the very front of the book, I'm going to do a fold out. So like the Laurie Marie Jenkins paper dolls where they fold back to forth, back to forth. I'm doing them out of sewing machine or sewing pattern images. And there's going to be a fold out in the front of the book and a fold out in the back of the book. And how I'm doing that, I just took a file folder and I found some images. I'm using the ones that the legs weren't all the way where it didn't have the shoes like these images have the shoes. So I'm taking the ones that are, are like three quarter view and I put them where they would connect. I mod podged them down, you know, where their arms and their outfits would connect. And then I'm taking a ruler, I let it dry. I'm taking a ruler and I put this down and I'm scoring it with my bone folder. Then I moved it straight across, keeping it straight so that when they fold, they fold nice and neat, one on top of each other. And again, between the two images, bone folder, move it out. Again, bone folder. And then I'm going to sit and fussy cut around them. I'm mean, actually, before I do that, I'm going to do the book text and the fun collage stuff on the back. And then I'm going to sit, after it dries, I'm going to sit and fussy cut them out and then fold them back to front, back to front and then glue it down in the front of the book. So there's going to be, um, there's going to be a fold out in the front. So anyway, if any of you like this idea, I'm going to show it, I think, as I do some progress in it. I love the idea of doing these images where they overlap each other. I just think that is just so cute and so much fun. And this just to me is just going to be the most fun altered book. And so I'm challenging my altered book friends that um, get an old book, grab some old patterns and see what you come up with. We can still do all our fun altered book things with, you know, hidden doors maybe that open up with a pattern image inside it or the fold up that pops out in the middle would be awesome to have one of those vintage images in. So that's my idea. So I hope you find this inspiring and want to play along with me and do a paper doll altered book. And another tip is that for fold outs you do need an odd number because this is going to be glued down and then you're going to have one on top, one in the middle, one on top. So you have to have an odd number so that it ends up with an image on top. And with a file folder, you do run out of room. So I use some um, paper drywall tape on the back because it's nice and sturdy and added another piece of file folder to add my fifth image for my fold outs. And then when they fold out, they will be one on top of each other. So just want to throw that tip in there.
if I if you have any questions or anything I can help you with or some cool ideas leave some comments below I think this would be really a fun project for us to play play around with and if you don't want to make one and you just want to watch my process like I said I'll add more videos as I go along but it's just fun so I hope you join me in some paper doll play Here's what my fold out paper dolls look like. They're all from sewing patterns back to back. I put them on a um, file folder. I added layers to the back, pieces of pattern, book text. I used sprays to color it. And when you fold them out, this is how they look. I really like it. It's very fun. Just another take on the paper dolls. I like the Lori Marie Jensen Jenkins paper dolls, but um, this is just a different take on it. It's kind of my spin on it, and it's using sewing old sewing patterns. Here's how my front layout is coming out so far with my foldouts. I'm going to put a string closure across to hold these down the fold outs that go like this and these are just some other images that were on the front of the patterns that I've added and I've started to do some uh, stenciling and then I made this black border across to tie them all in and I'm gonna just keep playing around with it and adding um, fun details to like on her necklace she was wearing a pearl necklace in the photo but I've used some liquid pearls to make it look like she has real pearls and then I did that to this one as well so there's some pearls this one has a pearl earring I'm gonna add on wherever there's a bow I think I'm gonna add some uh, ribbon and make a bow and attach it and um, add some lace to some of them and just you know play around do the paper doll thing but I thought you'd want to see that that is that front fold out page so far so I hope you guys like this. I hope it inspires you to do this in an altered journal. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to um, accept the challenge and play along so that I'll know whether or not I should keep going with posting more videos showing my progress in my book. All right, thanks guys.